What's a question we should never ask? So am I better than your ex? Do you have a prettier sister? On my wedding day, my husband's aunt said, Your sister is so much prettier than you. On my wedding day. Response. And we're both much prettier than you, ya old hag. Good one, dang. Wish I'd thought of this. Instead I was so stunned I just stood there, literally too shocked to say anything. The same question over again, and really pressing the matter till the person gives you the answer that shocks you. I started giving people one warning, then giving the TM my answer if they pressed. Example from when I lived with my grandparents. Grandpa, you're home from work early. Me, I was at the doctor. It wasn't worth it to go back to the office for an hour, so I'm working from home the rest of the day. Grandpa, what? For what? Me, you don't want to know. Grandpa, yes I do. Me, okay. I was getting a pap smear. Grandpa, why did you tell me that? Me, you asked? I don't get why people act like being told someone got a pap smear is brain destroying or something. Like what is the big deal exactly? Same with some people apparently not being able to handle the very concept of periods or think touching a box of tampons, clean pieces of cotton, sealed up, and put in a cardboard box, is somehow gross. People are weird. When are you two having kids? My wife can have a baby. It's honestly like having someone rip my heart out of my chest whenever we're asked. Make it awkward as shit for them, and come right out with the truth. Be sure to thank them for bringing it up. Yep, that's the way to teach them to never ask that question again. I asked a very close friend of mine if he was planning on having kids. It opened up a big conversation and it wasn't something that felt like a faux pas but it's an extremely personal thing to even touch on, let alone be pushy about like some people are. When is the baby due? I learned this lesson early in life when I said congratulations to a co-worker who then said, What for? I was fortunate to have remembered she got a promotion a while back and covered pretty well, but it was awkward. Never again. A friend had the opposite experience. A grad student who was on the heavy side came in one day with a baby. He asked, And whose baby is this? Is mine, said the student. Didn't you notice I've been pregnant for nine months? He hadn't. Since she had already been heavy, he just assumed she'd put on more weight, and she never mentioned it. A teacher asked if a classmate of mine had had her baby yet to shock silence of the entire class. Said girl wasn't pregnant, she had a massive tumor in her ovaries and had just been admitted to the hospital the day before. She passed away within three months. Why does your Argentinian grandfather speak fluent German? What's the difference between an Argentinian and someone from southern Brazil? The Argentinian has a Nazi grandfather. The southern Brazilian wishes his grandfather was a Nazi. Over my head it went. Why would the southern Brazilian wish that? Highest concentration of neo-Nazi cells in the country. Some cities in the southern countryside are outright dangerous to go if you're a person of color. Lots of white supremacists there think they're German because their great-grandfather immigrated from Europe in the 19th century, so the joke is poking fun at them. Current Brazilian president, Bolsonaro, who's from the southeast has claimed many times his grandfather was a Nazi soldier under Hitler, even though every record shows that his family came to Brazil way before the Nazis rose to power. But the south region is the one that gets the reputation of Nazi land, because it's much more common to see this kind of racism there even if it's not exclusive to them. When in a relationship, do you think friend is prettier than me? Or any related question of which you actually don't want to hear the answer to. My ex asked me if I had a threesome with her friends who would I choose and got angry with my answer. It looks that I had to say just one. Why are you single? Supply chain issues. So if we look at this supply demand graph right over here. There's a lot of me, and fairly low demand. Have you noticed you're going bald? Ugh, a lady did this to my grandma once. My grandma had this incredibly rare blood disease that wasn't cancer. But the only way they knew how to treat it 15 years ago was as if it were cancer. So she took chemo pills and all of her hair, that had never gone gray, which she was very proud of, had started thinning and falling out in clumps. This random lady at the grocery store checkout line tapped my grandma on the shoulder and said something like, you know, they have balding products for women just like they do for men now. And my grandma was like, Yes, I'm sure that will work against the chemotherapy. And turned back around. And the lady snapped like, 
Well, I was just trying to help. And then my grandma left and got in the car and cried because why the fuck would you say that to someone? I don't know where that random lady is or if she's even alive anymore ISTG if I ever see her again in this life or the next, it's on site El Mayo. When are y'all gonna break up? What, are you on your period or something? Fuck me, you broke the TV remote and have been in mood all week because a game you watched on telly didn't finish how you want. But I can't show emotion about losing my human right to medical care. Is your daughter seeing anyone? Are you depressed or just want attention? Both, motherfucker. Unironically this. People claim that people who are depressed are attention seekers. And to that I say, so? Sometimes all people need is a little attention. Some people have been completely looked past and ignored for years, so what if they want a little attention? They can't be depressed and want attention at the same time? Sorry if you were joking, I just wanted to say that. What's the worst thing you've ever seen? To any EMT paramedic firefighter etc. I promise you it's horrible and not something you'd want to think about. We, well certainly I, don't want to relive those memories, especially so unexpectedly. Ask about something funny instead. You'll get a better answer. As an EMT and firefighter I would also like to add that we likely won't tell you the actual worst thing we've ever seen. Unless I'm in a shitty mood or something, you're getting a mild story that's interesting enough to shut you up. If I don't even know you well enough for that, then my go-to response to What's the worst thing you've ever seen at your job is my paycheck and a change of subject. Why are you so quiet? This one always pissed me off as a kid. Like if you want to start a conversation, just ask a regular question. I was raised by abusive librarians is my favorite response. When did you put on all that extra weight? I legit had a patient, and his wife asked me once if I was putting on extra weight for the winter. On the bright side, the insult was the final straw that got me motivated to get back into shape. Why do you look like your uncle? My sister actually looks ridiculously similar to my uncle. We make jokes about it, but it's basically just because my uncle looks like a younger, skinnier version of my dad. Dad, honey, why does our daughter look like my brother? Mom because she gets her DNA from the same place you two did. Studio audience, ha ha. Why are you so skinny? Why can't you be like, insert person's name? Well, because I am not, that person's name. Ask a veteran if they killed someone during their time in service. Surprisingly it's common, please don't. It's really insensitive. When I was in second grade we had Veterans Day Assembly. And we got to ask the veterans questions and I remember two things I asked two different guys. I asked the old Vietnam vet if he had killed anyone, and he just avoided the question by saying something else but I could tell he was hurt by it, and at the time I didn't know why and the other vet was someone who served during 9-11 and I asked if it was anything like Call of Duty, and he just said no not at all and looked upset. At the time I didn't know why they were upset but looking back I just want to go back in time and give myself a right hook in the jaw for being so dumb, and when I think about it probably a lot of kids that age would ask questions like that, and really we shouldn't have little kids asking questions to veterans because they just don't get the severity of a question like that. It wasn't your fault at all it's just illustrative of the bullshit glorified and romanticized fun video game version of war that gets fed to us through popular culture and how jarringly different that is to the horrifying, traumatizing reality of war. There's a good chance that before those vets saw action they would have done the same in your shoes. Is there war in Ba Sing Se? Apparently, a lot of asexuals get asked if they were molested as kids and I don't know on what planet is it okay to ask anyone that. I had someone ask me that because I was sick all the time. I had just had hip replacement surgery. You annoying Karen but it is never okay to ask someone that. At least from the lesbian side of things, I've had more than one person say it's because I had a bad relationship with my dad, or he wasn't in my life. No, we actually had a pretty good relationship before he died. Not that that has anything to do with my sexuality anyway. Asking, what happened to you? To see why someone has mental health issues. Especially if the mental health issues are associated with traumatic experiences. If someone has mental health struggles, asking out of curiosity rather than concern can make someone relive the experience. The worst part is people who ask this question are never ready for the answer. Are you going to try again? 
asked after my miscarriage. But at least people stopped asking. When are you two going to have a baby? After I miscarried. At airports, tourist attractions, cruise ships. Never ask if you can buy dynamite at the gift shop. What's a question we should never ask? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.